G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to today's video where we're gonna be taking a walkthrough on how we can manage and grant permissions to folders inside of document libraries and how we can structure that. Now this came about from a question I saw um, in a Facebook group uh, that you can see on the screen right now. Uh, and the question is, I wanna create a folder and have restrictions for files and folders based on users that will be given direct access. So we can do that um, quite easily inside of a SharePoint document library library. Um, now we need to understand the, the importance of inheritance here. So uh, as we know, or as you may know, um, SharePoint has a uh, an inheritance structure. So everything inherits permissions from its parent. So in our case, the parent is a SharePoint site. Then we've got our document library, and then we've got our folder. So the permissions flow down the tree here. So you can see on the screen that this particular site that I'm working on, um, we've given access to Adele in the site members and Deborah in the site visitors. So edit access and read access. Let's jump into a document library here and let's create a folder. So let's say we've got a folder called folder one and let's say, let's have another folder called uh, secure. So what we're gonna do here is by, by nature of inheritance, those two people have got access to these folders at differing levels. So if I am, um, let's just copy the URL here. So if I am logged in as Adele, we can see here that Adele has got access to the site um, and has access to both of these folders. Now you can see that she can, uh, she's got edit rights, upload and create new stuff. Now, if what about Deborah? So if I log into this site with Deborah, she's been only given read access, right? So that means we can't upload or add stuff to that document library in question. So if I'd click on documents, we can see the folders and we can see the contents of the folders, but you can see these little icons here with a pencil with a line through it, it means that she's only got view only access, okay? So we've got no ability here to upload content. Now. Let's say we want to grant access or control access now. I wanna give Deborah access to folder number one, but I wanna remove access to her to this secure uh, folder here. So what that means we need to do is we need to manage the access. We need to stop the inheritance. So I'm gonna manage access. Now you can see this is the new um, sharing experience and the manage access experience here. We can see who's got access to what. Top right hand corner, fairly hidden away up here, is our advanced settings. And this is where we can stop inheriting. So I'm going to click this button at the top here to stop inheriting our permissions. And here is where we can control who can see what and give direct access. Now, I want to remove visitors and I want to remove members. Okay, so as soon as I, as soon as I do that, those two groups are going to lose access. So now, if I bring Deborah's back over and I'd go back to documents, you can see that she doesn't have access to that folder number one. Now, what about uh, Adele here? Let's go again, we'll go back to documents, we'll hit refresh, and you can see that she's only got access to this secure folder. The folder number one has disappeared. So how do we grant access to certain people then? So if I go to documents, how do we manage who can access this folder? Now that I've stopped inheritance, I only want Adele. I don't want, actually I only want uh, Deborah. I don't want Adele, right? So I'm gonna go back to manage access, three little dots, advanced settings, and here I can grant permission directly. So I'm not sharing or I'm not creating a sharing link, I'm granting access directly to Deborah. So I'm going to set Deborah. I'm not, I'm going to share everything inside the folder and I'm going to give her edit rights. Now remembering that she's only got view rights at the site level and everything else. So I am going to uh, give her edit rights. So now if I bring Deborah's back across here and I hit the refresh button, you can see that she's now got access to folder number one. Now if I jump into secure, She's still only got read-only access to secure, but in the, this folder, now this upload button appears and the new button appears where she can now uh, upload and download or upload and create content inside of this folder and this folder only. 
Now, what we can do also, obviously, is remove access to this secure folder. So again, I'm gonna jump into manage access. I'm going to go to the advanced settings up the top right. And then here, I'm gonna stop inheriting permissions. I'm going to remove visitors. So I don't want any visitor to of this site to have access to this secure folder, only owners and members. So now I'm gonna drag Deborah's back across. We'll go back to the top level. Let's refresh this. You can see that that secure folders disappeared, but Adele, because she's part of that members group, if I refresh this, she'll still have access to this secure folder. All right, so there we go. Nice little crash course in uh, managing security or give, granting access to folders inside of a document library. Now, this does form a, um, a small part of a workshop that I have just created that will be published very, very shortly uh, around the entire in, in around managing permissions, managing your document libraries. So watch out for that. I'll be releasing that next week. Um, so watch out for that to come through via email. But I hope that brings you some value. I hope that cleared a few things up and helps you understand how you can control access to folders inside of your document library.